In case you're curious, you should know why Din Davis recently launched a full-scale attack on Floyd Mayweather, his former mentor. Apparently, Mayweather told multiple media outlets that Davis would lose all of his upcoming fights, whether they are against Lomachenko or Stevenson. Mayweather went on to say that Davis's prior triumphs were not the consequence of his brilliance, but rather of the referee being bought off. Davis was furious at Mayweather's remarks. Regardless of Mayweather's prominence in the boxing community, Davis has an undefeated record for the entirety of his boxing career, which provides him a legitimate sense of pride and success. For this reason, it is quite understandable that Davis is upset. Although the promoters have not yet made any official announcements, it is obvious that this potential matchup is something to anticipate and prepare for given their ongoing conflict. Mayweather's accusations not only undermine Davis's hard-earned achievements, but also tarnish his reputation in the eyes of fans and the broader sports community. Davis is accused of benefiting from referee bribery, which not only casts doubt on his skill and dedication, but also questions the integrity of his victories. These accusations can be incredibly damaging. Given that Mayweather has a history of exciting retirement for well-known fights, taking on Davis, his old people, may be a very appealing option. But in reaction to the possible fight with Floyd Mayweather, Davis has laid out a clear plan of attack. He has stated that he intends to train hard and emphasizes the need for intense preparation in order to take on what he considers to be a formidable opponent, despite their disagreements and the tension that exists between them. Davis expressed admiration for his former mentor's skill in the ring, but he also stressed the need to adhere to his set training regimen, noting that opponents can alter their strategies at any time in the boxing world. Beyond his control, Davis feels he can maintain his physical and mental edge as long as he follows his coach's regimen, prepared to modify his fighting style when the time for the match comes. I just train to better myself, Davis says, and when we go into the ring, it's just like you got to adapt to whatever that guy bringing. Then the idea of taking on Floyd Mayweather in the ring has excited Davis much. For him, this fight is a monumental chance and a realization of his goal. Originating in Baltimore for Davis, the opportunity to fight Mayweather, who finished his career with a perfect 50 wins and zero losses, is nothing short of extraordinary. Davis has been quite vocal about his desire for this matchup and has even prayed for the chance to face off against one of the greatest boxers in history. I asked how you pray for someone to really come for you like damn works like tell me, so I know that beating Mayweather would be more than simply a win. It would be a turning point in his career, one where he hopes to surpass Mayweather's unmatched record and leave his mark on boxing history. Davis is aware of the seriousness of this possible conflict and how it might affect his legacy. He feels that defeating Mayweather would both redefine and cement his place as a powerful force in the sport. The story of boxing's greatest champions, despite Devin Davis's unwavering belief in his skills and what he can offer the ring, some people have doubts about his capacity to hurt Floyd Mayweather. I don't pay attention to that because I don't want to think about things like, oh, they think I'm a so if I feel like I'm a happy favorite. I feel like I take somebody lightly, so I don't even pay attention to that. Davis's unwavering confidence is exactly what his fans admire most. He exudes a steadfast determination that transcends any doubts or odds stacked against him. Davis has responded to these skeptics with a resolute manner. He dismisses their doubts as irrelevant noise and emphasizes that what will happen in the ring is up to Davis. Davis has a strong sense of self-worth and adopts a resolute approach. His actions speak louder than words, and his reserved exterior is a reflection of his inner fortitude and deliberate preparation. Instead of using his energy on verbal sparring or pompous predictions, Davis likes to let his performance in the ring speak for itself. 
He believes that his genuine abilities will be shown when it comes time for a face-to-face -face confrontation. Mayweather, you made an interesting observation. There is a certain fearlessness that boxers who have a calm and collected manner are often associated with. Fighters who are formidable in the ring tend to be quieter and let their actions speak for them. This quiet confidence can be more unsettling to opponents than brazen boasting or loud declarations. Some of the greatest successful boxers in history are renowned for their calm demeanor and methodical approach. They concentrate on improving their techniques and carrying out their game plan without needless fanfare. As I've remarked previously, exercising moderation in speech and behavior is not a sign of weakness, but rather a calculated decision to preserve mental clarity and stamina. Lucidity boxing authorities and German supporters, Davis frequently credits his calm personality to the lethal weapon in his arsenal, his strong punches. Davis is known for having tremendous striking strength. In fact, in a recent fight against Frank Martin, for example, one of his blows was enough to knock his opponent out cold and send him tumbling to the ground. Davis's ability to punch was evident. Martin gave in to Davis's strength in spite of his own abilities, collapsing to the ground as though possessed by an overwhelming desire to snooze. Davis's ability to deliver powerful blows is a result of both his physical strength and his precise timing and technique. His punches are executed with calculated force, aiming to exploit openings and capitalize on any opportunity to secure victory. This lethal combination of power and skill is what sets Davis apart and instills fear in his opponents. In my opinion, that punch was nothing short of devastating. This example clearly illustrates the impact of Davis's punches and underscores why opponents and analysts alike view him as a serious threat in the ring. In response to Davis's devastating punches, many boxers have expressed their opinion, highlighting the need for opponents to treat Davis with the utmost respect and caution. Given the intense and high-stakes nature of this business, Underestimating Davis's punching power could have disastrous consequences. As opponents approach Davis in the ring, they recognize the vital importance of defense and strategy against Davis's deadly blows. The sport depends heavily on talent and strategy, and putting safety first guarantees that it stays a test of athletic prowess rather than a risk to life. For this reason, I assert that Don Davis commands an unquestionable amount of respect and dread in the boxing community. Fans and seasoned pros in the sports industry both agree with this sentiment. Renowned USC fighter Marlon Vera has highlighted Davis's intimidating demeanor, especially his unrivaled punching power in Vera's opinion. Davis is a formidable opponent in the boxing ring and anyone attempting to stop him has to prepare for the force of his blows. Ryan Garcia, who just had a spectacular fight with Devin Davis, expressed his thoughts on Davis's demonstration of power versus Frank Martin. Given that many fighters have praised Jovan Davis's skills in the ring, one may assume Garcia